just letting you guys know you can listen to my no bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my no bleeps youtube channel link in the description Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today, we're going to be talking about the Ace family because there are several rumors swirling around the internet. Honestly, information is kind of all over the place in terms of this particular story, so I'm not 100% on all of the details, but it is a rumor that is going around. A lot of you guys have been sending it to me that the Ace family's home is facing foreclosure. And this is a very embarrassing story, honestly. And the Ace family, is going through multiple different types of legal situations at the moment. There's a situation that's going on with Austin and the Social Gloves, which is the company that he owns. I've heard that they had filed bankruptcy due to the fact that not enough people had purchased the YouTubers versus TikTokers fight. There's also a situation going on with Catherine's 1212 Gateway skincare line. So the Ace family is in a whole lot of legal trouble and now it seems as though their home might actually be taken from them because apparently they haven't made payments. Now this is all alleged but there is now multiple articles and different news outlets that are coming out to report on this particular situation. So I'm going to be reading some key points in this article that was published on Dirt. In this article it says according to multiple reports and confirmed by property records the East family is extravagant in Woodland Hills mansion has entered pre-foreclosure after the couple stopped making mortgage payments in early 2021. In late May, the couple's lender notified a notice of default on the property, which is technically owned by a company called Ace Hat Collection. Per the California Secretary of State, Catherine, whose legal name is Dolores McBroom, is Ace Hat Collection's president, while Austin is the company's vice president. Now, I've been seeing these legal documents floating around on Twitter and social media. Apparently they were made public through this like gossip site forum. And that's how this information was basically leaked that the East family was potentially going to lose their home. Now this article is honestly very telling. There is a chance that they might not actually lose the house. It says on the residential front, Pies and McBroom still have a opportunity to discuss a new financial arrangement arrangement with their lender before the property enters full-blown foreclosure. But should those talks fail, the couple faces a possible auction and eviction from what they have referred to as their forever home. So I guess if they can somehow prove that they can make payments in the future, they might be able to salvage, you know, the home and it might not you know, go under foreclosure. But the thing is that I really don't understand. You guys are not a financial advisor at all, but these financial decisions do not sound very logical to me. So apparently the couple paid $10.1 million for the property. I've seen it floating around that it was eight or whatnot, but either way they paid multiple millions of dollars for this house. And this home is basically two half finished mansions. Like that's what they bought. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys, if you paid attention to the Ace family already know that when they bought their original home, this home right here, they basically put two big mansions together and made one big mansion. And the mansions like weren't even finished. Like they had to do construction for so long and they literally have videos talking about this. And even after all this, they still had a mortgage, which is the issue. Like they're not making payments on the mortgage. So they literally combined the two separate mansions into one super sized mega mansion. And in my head, I'm just like, if you guys would have just settled for a really nice already finished home, I'm sure you guys would totally be fine. Like they could have bought a house and literally paid off the house with the amount of money that I'm sure they put into this house. Like they still needed a mortgage while buying this house like they literally could have put down whatever amount of money that they put into this house that still needed a mortgage into a home that was maybe more quote unquote normal size to them but seemingly still very luxurious because we're talking california here and paid it off and then they wouldn't have to worry about making mortgage payments this is just like simple logic in my mind but obviously the ace family wants to be seen as like these super mega rich people and like want to be super flashy and show off all their money and so they decided that they were going to have a mortgage and put two mansions and sandwich them together and 
ultimately like it seems like a waste of money in my mind because now they're on the struggle bus and it's public and that's embarrassing like I don't know why they decided to do that especially since it seems like they're taking such risky business deals now at first Austin and Catherine were staying really silent about this entire thing which had people thinking that this was a possibility because they tend to shut things down right away but it took a little bit and Austin ended up posting something onto his snapchat story that read stop capping on me and my family's name ain't nobody getting evicted ain't nobody moving stop leaving everything you see the haters say on the internet if we were moving we definitely would have informed the world and made a whole youtube video about it have a good rest of your day a lot of people are you know saying it's not you know the haters that are specifically saying this it's being reported by multiple people that this is a situation and also all the other legal things are being brought up as well so this isn't something that just the haters are reporting on. This is something that is getting talked about by all sorts of different people. And the other thing that people are noting about this Snapchat story, this response is that he didn't really address the fact that their house is facing pre foreclosure. He just basically said they're not moving and they're not getting evicted, which is not something that is happening. Like the article said that I read to you guys, it's just a possibility if they don't make the payments, then they might actually have to move. But as of right now, they don't have to. But if the situation continues, then it's a possibility. In terms of the decisions that they've been making financially in their business deals, obviously what's gone on with social gloves definitely didn't seem like a really good move. In this article from The Dirt, it says, the Ace family is also facing controversy over last month's Battle of the Platforms boxing event, which was put on social gloves, a new promotional company revealed to be owned by broom though it was supported by a publicity blitz the event was a marketing disaster with only 136,000 of 500,000 available pay-per-view passes sold. Multiple fighters at the event have since claimed they were not paid for their participation. And apparently that is a whole legal thing because even Austin has said that he can't comment on it on Twitter, which means there's a legal battle going on. And in terms of what's going on with Catherine and 1212 Gateway, I was reading this up on a Snapchat story. It's Toto Bien. It says, on top of that, Catherine is allegedly fighting with the partners of her skincare line, 1212 Gateway. According to court documents, Catherine is allegedly trying to completely take over the company and force her partners, TBL, out. The company is projected to make $60 million this year. The documents also claim that Catherine has started a, quote, hostile takeover and changed passwords of several social media accounts belonging to the brand. Allegedly, since her takeover, the brand has faced multiple customer service issues with all the different financial allegations. Many fans think the Ace family is broke, leaving many others unsurprised. So that's what they said on the Snapchat, you guys. That's something I'm claiming, but this is really insane. I know a lot of people have been complaining about the customer service of 1212 Gateway and commenting on Instagram and all that stuff about not receiving products and whatnot, but this is an extremely crazy story. I mean, it's sad and I really hope that they can get their stuff together and figure out how to work it out because the, the kids, I mean, geez. And something that I also just find a little sketchy and does have me questioning some of the things that are being reported is that it was seen earlier this week that Austin, Catherine, and Austin's brother Landon were seen at a basketball game in which they were sitting courtside. I don't know if this was like some free event for them or whatnot, but they literally were seen sitting courtside. And I feel like if you're going through all this financial disaster, why would you be sitting courtside? Like that is expensive. And the most awkward part about all of this is that they literally walked by Michael B. Jordan, who is Catherine McBroom's ex-boyfriend, and they didn't say hi to him, but everybody was just commenting on the fact that it was so awkward and so uncomfortable to see Michael B. Jordan see Catherine and Catherine to see Michael B. Jordan. And everyone is just like so shook when they even find out about the fact that she was with Michael B. Jordan, like right before she was with Austin. And yeah, people were talking about that. So I don't know, you guys, what's going to happen with the Ace family. Obviously, drama like always when it comes to them. But I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.
Thank you.